you guys have no idea how lucky you are to have me here with you as a leftist political commentator, okay? And it's not just because I'm, you know, astonishingly talented, phenomenal orator, um, eight feet tall, you know, enormous penis. It's not just because of that. It's mostly, now I didn't fuck it up this time, you guys can't make fun of me. See, for you in the YouTube videos, you don't know, but I fucked the intro up twice. Listen, I could be making literally like $800,000 a year. I'm not joking. If I left the left, if I just, if I left the left, you know what it means to leave the left? A lot of people have done this. Tim Pool has done this. Dave Rubin has done this. He's very famous for having done this. You know, Dave Rubin, he, he left the left. He used to work for the Young Turks. Um, apparently nobody liked him there um, because he is incredibly smooth brained. And then he realized, oh, oh, well, I could actually make a lot more money if I, um, if I didn't. Candace Owens. Yeah, another great one. And um, we recently had another inductee to this um, uh, uh, to this venerable tradition of grifters um, making money and getting attention off of appealing to conservatives uh, as a supposed left leaning person. Ariel Scarcella. We ever heard about Ariel Scarcella? Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea the fuck this person was before all the drama started a few weeks ago. Some people say she's awful. Some people say, I don't know. She's a lesbian YouTuber who talks about LGBT stuff. Or I should say, <clears throat> I'm sorry, LGB issues. And uh, look at that video. I'm a lesbian woman and I'm leaving the insane progressive left. I could make this video if I wanted to. I'm, I'm not a lesbian woman. I could say I'm a pan, I'm a pansexual man and I'm leaving the insane progressive left. I could do that if I wanted to. I could, I could go on Dave Rubin's show. I could go on the Rubin report. It would be, it would be like a, it would be like a, a Joker kind of situation, you know, where it'd be he, like, he'd bring me on. He'd be like, Hey, and I'd be like, can you introduce me as the Loginator? You know what happens when you cross a dishonest conservative establishment with a YouTuber who has nothing to lose? <laughs> nothing happens because political violence is wrong. Let's take a look at this video. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen any of this. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen this. Let's see. I want to. I'm ready to be confronted with the logic of this person with the enormous eyeballs. Now that I'm really looking at her. Wow. I can't make any comments on her appearance because people will call me sexist and ignore everything else I have to say if I do. But damn, those are some, those are some big whites. You know, um, when, when my girlfriend was here before I started the stream, when I was getting all the videos prepped and stuff, she said that Ariel looks like Fred. You guys remember Fred? Maybe a little. And you know what I'm talking about? I, some of you guys see it too. I'm not one of them. Hi, I'm Arielle. I'm a lesbian. And I don't think gender is a social construct. I she kind of talks like Fred too. I don't think cis straight white men are evil. I don't believe the genital preferences are transphobic or that there are 97 genders. I don't think- All right, okay, we're gonna have to go through these one at a time, aren't we? Ah. Hi, I'm Arielle, I'm a lesbian, and I don't think gender is a social construct. That's okay, you're just, you know, operating outside of the conventional definition that is used in like all of academia. I mean, it's fine. If you don't believe gender is a social construct, that's your right as a, as a God-fearing American, but, it does make you wrong. Um, gender is by definition a social construct. That is what it means. I don't think cis straight white men are evil. Good thing basically nobody does. If you, you find a, a picture of a 14 year old, one tweet with five likes and a, a, a what is that, a Tumblr text post? You always see this, but people always do this, like the, 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 the tide of the feminists who believe men are all evil and they'll find like one tweet with four likes, you know? Damn, you'd think you'd try a little bit harder than that if you're trying to paint this as some sort of hegemonic opinion amongst the left. I don't believe the genital preferences are transphobic or- 
Uh, well, good thing the video there says our genital preference is transphobic. You know, I've actually talked with a lot of trans people about this, and the overwhelming consensus seems to be that genital preferences are not intrinsically transphobic. No, I've never actually talked to somebody who believed that. If you really like pussy, if you really, if you just, you just want to get your face in there, and you just really care about that, and you're into girls, you see a girl with a penis, and you're not really into penises, okay, whatever. I mean, I have body preferences too. I've never, I've, I've seriously never actually heard like a large content creator, any like person with real reach, saying that genital preferences are transphobic. Probably why she wasn't able to cite any proof of people believing that and just provided one picture of a YouTube thumbnail and another one where they ask the question but don't answer it. And- Or that there are 97 genders. Nobody believes there are 97 genders. Well, look, look at what we're looking at right here. L look, this uh, this is so perfect. This actually describes how in it's stupid this woman is. Uh, can, I, can I say that? Is that sexist? Look at this. What are these genders? Female to male, that's just being trans. FTM is just the same as female to male, except abbreviated. Gender bender and gender queer aren't genders. They're just ways of approaching your gender identity. Male to female and MTF are the same thing. Just one is abbreviated. Non-op. It just means you haven't had a fucking operation. I don't know what hijra means. Pangender is just, again, not a gender. It just means what, you're all genders? I don't know. That's not the same as a gender. Transsexual and tra Oh, I see. One is with one S and one is with two S's. That's also not a gender. Trans person, not a gender. Woman and man. Here are the genders. Guys, we found them. Hijra are the third gender in India? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you mean the thing that's been around for like thousands of years? Yeah, gotcha. Well, guys, we found the genders. Woman and man. We found the th we found the three genders. I can actually see the rest of the list that's being shown here if I remove my webcam. We have two-spirit, which is, I think, a Native American thing. Then we have trans, which is, again, not a gender. A gender, which is definitely not a gender. Third sex is probably some intersex thing, which isn't gender. Gender fluid isn't a gender. Non-binary transgender isn't a gender. And androgyne and butch are gen- Again, this is, uh, remember, you know how people often say, like, um, ah, the insane, the New York law shows there are eight trillion genders. Nah, it actually just describes a huge list of gender terminology, not of genders. But, uh, no, but nobody, nobody pays attention to that, you know. Nobody actually you know, cares about that. Um, they just use it for clickbait articles to, you know, manufacture outrage so their transphobic audience can jerk themselves off over how crazy the left has gotten. I don't think that male sex offenders belong in women's prison. Well, they're not male sex offenders, they're women. You can't, you can't argue your way around this. If people are, do you have any idea what happens to trans women in male prisons? If you actually care about preventing harm, then you would put them in women's prisons. This is one of those definitional slip-arounds. The vast scientific and social consensus trends toward the validity of trans people, so you don't actually get to make arguments like, I don't believe they should put men in women's prisons. Okay, well, good thing they're not men. They're women. Damn. Well, we solved that one. I don't think it's normal for people to be praised for walking around with shirts that say kill turfs. I don't- What? It's not normal. Nobody- Is that normal? Ah, yes. The, the mainstream media, uh, constantly, uh, maybe it's normal in my, in my chat over here. Um, and, and I am, you know, not, uh, political violence is of course wrong. I understand the sentiment. Is that normal? Notice how she has to phrase this from the perspective of victimhood. That's 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 feminists for you, you know? That's that's these stupid femoids for you. Always with the victimhood shit. She can't just say, she can't just say, I don't believe it's okay to say you want to kill TERFs. Okay, that's a fine statement. What she has to say is, I don't believe it's normal to praise people for walking around saying they want to kill TERFs. She has to phrase it in a way that implies that all of society is in favor of people saying they want to kill TERFs. Fucking snowflake. Don't think like these people, and I no longer want to be associated with them. I so it's all just like trans shit then? It's just all trans stuff? I don't think you were associated with them. I mean, you're a transphobe, right? Like, were they associated with you? Good, stop calling yourself a feminist. I, but, but this is fine, don't associate with us. That's totally fine. 
I've reached peak LGBT, this is my coming out video. Never in my life have I been more canceled, tortured, tormented, harassed. Quit whining, dude. What, harassed? You're just transphobic. Like, just own it, dude. Why, what a fucking bitch. You're a fucking YouTuber. I get fucking call out videos made about me all the time, like constantly. If you're a transphobe, you're transphobic, you're calling trans women men, you're a transphobe, so you're transphobic. People are gonna call you transphobic. Why are you such a snowflake? Why, what, what is this? Then my members of my own community. Da oh no, damn, you're trans, oh no. A few years ago, she got kicked off her famous comedy show for harassing two prominent YouTube trans women. Lol, she literally destroyed her own career. Damn, really? Wait. Is that true? Here's a rational wiki. Rational wiki is not perfectly like accurate. If, if there are any inaccuracies here, just let me know. I just want to get to the meat of the issue. In August 2017, Scrisella teamed up with Jackie Glenn to produce a response to a video by Fiona, who just like her girlfriend, trans feminist Riley Dennis, called her on her audience to reflect how societal and cultural influences may have a role in trans exclusionary dating preferences. Is this the issue? She used to be on a show called Pillow Talk and then got involved with... I see, is Pillow Talk mentioned here? It is not. I said all videos. Give me, give me an article or something. Is there no like about section? Huh. Weird. Make matters worse, Scarcella tweeted her video with a caption calling Fiona a bisexual with a trans girlfriend, a homophobic SJW, then proceeded to tag numerous influential anti-feminist and transphobic personalities. Interesting. That was 20. Here's Ario Scarcella. Oh, tagging Blair White back in 2017. Jacqueline Glenn, shoe on head. Funny, shoe on head I don't think has ever been transphobic. Uh, Buck Angel, Claire Shug, Megan Murphy. Damn, how far shoe on head has come. By the way, if you ever wanted to like uh, concern yourself with whether or not Ario Scarcella ever was, um, or currently is, like a progressive or an LGBT ally, she literally just a few days ago posted this. Stop assuming women are stupid if they vote for someone you don't like. Women are not a hive mind. It's sexist to think so. Literally the Candace Owens argument. Actually, you're racist if you say black people shouldn't vote for Trump. All, all, available, all available evidence points towards Ariel Scarcella having been a conservative and a transphobe from the start. And like all transphobes who, um, who uh, masquerade themselves as LGB allies, they're actually willing to drop everything and join up with fascists the nanosecond they get any pushback on their transphobia. The nanosecond that happens, they will just run right over to the fascists. Funny, I thought, I mean, I thought they were feminists, you know, I thought they cared deeply about LGB rights, but apparently they'll drop those too. They care far more about ostracizing trans women than they do about maintaining their original political principles. So you can treat this person essentially like a cis Blair White. Never have I witnessed literal mentally ill individuals who are latching themselves onto the LGBT community without actually being L Wait. ill individuals. What is the mental illness here? Literally mentally ill? I mean, apparently this woman's deranged enough to actually get canceled from shows because she can't hold her fucking tongue when it comes to being transphobic. So here's a video of a person yelling into a phone, maybe for like a recording. Who are latching themselves. And here's a person, and here are two people with like funny hair, I guess? What? What is mentally, what is this? When I think mentally ill, I think somebody calling themselves a feminist and then joining up with fascists. That's what I think of when I think of mentally ill. What is this? I was onto the LGBT community without actually being LGBT. For the what does it mean to, wait, who's not LGBT but is saying they're LGBT? For the sake of oppression points, external validation, and sympathy. This is, these are literally just buzzwords, dude. There are no examples being provided. Without actually being LGBT. So, and then we just throw a headline, a trans person sexually assaulted inmates. Do you have any idea how often sexual assault happens in jail? Jail is literally a fucking hotbed of sexual assault all the time. It's just like one article. It's just like they just clip, 
This is the exact same shit people like Paul Joseph Watson will do with their fucking 1350 shit. They'll be like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, here, the diverse, uh, the diverse uh, uh, youth of UK causing a ruckus yet again. And there'll be like a video of a black guy yelling on the street or something, you know? This is the same shit that Sargon will do. It's the same shit that all fascist groups do, fundamentally. Rather than making arguments, they dazzle you with a bunch of um, fucking thrown out headlines and, um, and, and, and screenshots that are meant to sort of build a mental image. It's supposed to evoke a feeling but the actual argument is completely deficient t for the sake of oppression points i don't know what what oppression points like why 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 isn't she like elaborating on any of her positions she's just ran, she's just buzzwords she's just spewing all of the like common uh uh like conservative talk radio buzzwords Tran oh, here's Jenica y Jessica Yaniv, the, ex the same trans person who literally everyone on the internet left and right dogpiled and agreed was a lunatic got to got to throw them in here definitely representative of the whole you know, I found some pretty crazy cis people. Ethan Ralph, I talked to him the other day. Ethan Ralph is like an alcoholic pill-popping pedophile who, um, uh, who, who hangs around with Nazis. Cis people need to be canceled, dude. Cis people have gone too far. Internal validation and sympathy. Never have I- Oh, uh, not- NICE! Being LGBT for the sake of oppression points, external validation- This is the one video! This is the one video that every single anti-feminist has used in at least three dozen videos! This is the se you've- we've all seen this face! This was the one video from Gamergate. She, she was just like, I gotta put together this video and why I'm leaving the left. Time to Google and use every single stock footage, every stock image I can find. Yeah, where's Big Red? Are we gonna find Trigglypuff in tier two? Damn, I'm being brought back to 2014. And sympathy. Never have I seen such disrespect from younger LGBT people to the older lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender advocate. What the fuck are you talking, wait. It's disrespectful to call Buck Angel out for being problematic in some respects. Quit being a fucking pussy, dude. I've seen Buck Angel on Twitter the past couple weeks, by the way. He's hardcore being NB phobic still. Yeah. What is this disrespect? What is this whiny fucking preachy pearl clutching whenever criticism you don't like takes place? Jesus Christ, dude. Notice how she'll um, align herself here with Buck Angel because Buck Angel is also one of these like the left has gone crazy type trans folk. It's who have been paving the way for us for longer than we've all been alive. Never. Oh, for us? What do you mean for us? What exactly does that mean? And she pretends, by the way, hey, really quickly, just so you know, if Buck Angel was like the height of modern progressivism and Buck Angel was frequently attacked by conservatives for being a trans dude or whatever, Ariel right here would not invoke his name. Not even close. The only reason she's doing so is to paint an image of a lunatic left lashing out and attacking everyone. But thankfully, there is no loss in attacking Ario Scarcella because Ario Scarcella has never been a leftist and never been a progressive. She's just been a lesbian who advocates for women's issues. Not all women though, cisgender women. And that's it. Where have I seen people that use the word bigot so frequently and Damn, not see the stop. hypocrisy and irony in themselves saying it? Some Damn, stop being a bit. It's just random screenshot. What am I supposed to fucking respond to every one of these fucking screenshots, dude? I've noticed this change coming onto my channel within the past two years as I've gotten what some people would say more conservative. And yeah, I have, haven't I? Since the queer movement. Damn. Wow. Fascinating. You've been a bigot for years and now you're finally capitalizing on it. By, by just openly uh, uh, moving with fascists. Yeah, I mean, cool. Movement right now is obsessed with all these different labels and I am a fan of labels. I wanted to share a new label of mine with you. Is it, wait, is this gonna be an attack helicopter joke? I'm coming out. I am officially leaving the left. When it's gotten to the point where I can no longer even- That's not a label, you stupid cunt. Why would you set the joke up like that and then fucking ruin it? That's not, that's not a label. Why, why? That could have been a fun joke. You could have, I mean, it probably would have been stupid, but you could, this woman is so stupid. She couldn't even do the one joke. List LGBT or women empowerment in my Instagram and Twitter bios without people thinking I'm part of this ridiculously woke. Ah, it's the other one. Ah, it's the other in one. My Instagram and Twitter bios without people thinking I'm part of this. You know why the video quality on this is so bad? Because this vi because this video was unearthed from the fucking Mesopotamian ruins.
because they they because archaeologists fucking uh, hand uh, dug out the the fucking uh, flash drive containing this video. This is this is seven years old. Nobody knows who this is anymore. Nobody cares who this is anymore. This was this was fucking filmed. The flood, Fred Flintstone, the, the the little pterodactyl pecks the image into the rock camera. Jesus Christ, dude! What? Dude, Im imagine if anyone like w nobody would get away with this in any other respect. Conservatives are so stupid. They're like fucking braying seals. They would watch. They're like, oh, big red. Oh, feminists are crazy. Oh. Keep in mind, everyone who used this video used it to discredit all feminists, not just like trans people or whatever. When Sargon used videos like this, he wasn't doing it to say, there is a small minority on the left that's gone crazy. He was talking about everyone more fucking to the left of fucking Mussolini, okay? So it's really funny that Scarcella over here, who is pretending to be some kind of progressive who is being alienated by the hyper wokeness of the left, is invoking the exact same rhetorical and argumentative strategies that were used by people to dismiss the entire left. It's almost Almost as though she's just a conservative. She's she, that's it. She's just a regular conservative who just happened to be born with a pussy and like and liking other people with pussies. So she's advocated for her own interests, but ultimately is just as reactionary as anyone else would be. Exactly like Blair White, you know, a conservative, a fascist, doesn't like you know minority rights. Uh, a uh, real big snowflake when it comes to uh, other people calling them out for being bigots, um, but they just happen to not be born cis white men. It would have been so much easier for you, wouldn't it, Scarcella? Oh, that would have been, if only, in a better world, right? You could have just been born the hegemonic majority, and then you wouldn't have had to have pretended to be progressive to begin with. This ridiculously woke cult. Th this is the same. There's strictly puff. Oh, We're getting them all in. Twitter bios without people thinking I'm part of this ridiculously woke. There's the same 14 year old as earlier used. Cult. When we and there's strictly puff. We did it. We did it. The whole gang is here. The whole gang is here. This video could have made uh, been made identically eight years ago. We got a bingo, folks. Every dumb fuck conservative stock argument. No individual thought was put in here. You could literally just take the, like the, you could, you could incept, you could inception yourself into Tim Pool or into Sargon circa fucking 2015, and you could just assemble this video from their, from their subconscious thought. There would be no, there's no need whatsoever to apply any like, yeah, what, when was this video made? This video was, <laughs> this video was made like four weeks ago. This video was made last month. There's no Big Red yet? There's gonna be Big Red. There's no fucking way she leaves out Big Red after she's brought the council together, the the hive mind of the die cis scum, the triggly puff, that one screaming feminist in the beanie. We just need Big Red, the four titans of radical feminism coming together, the gods of the old world, you rising from the depths to, to, to fucking meet in communion, bring about the end of the world one last time. We have rules and a pecking order of who is able to speak and for how long, even about their own body. You literally just made the argument that young trans people can't call Buck Angel transphobic because he's older and because he's done good for the movement in the past. You literally just established a pecking order 30 seconds ago in this video. Bodies and experiences. When we have children, drag queens, and- We got that! We're bringing them all in! We're bringing them all in! Notice how she's not calling out any like specific tendencies or making any arguments. She's just flashing pictures and videos of the silliest looking people possible. Okay, for them to perform sexually for adults. When we praise news stories like this that make absolutely no sense. Trans man gives birth to non-binary baby, b partner's baby with female sperm donor. Sense and do nothing for our movement. What do you mean do nothing for our movement? It's just a fucking headline, you stupid bitch. What is the trans man, so presumably someone with a vagina, gives birth to non-binary partner's baby with female sperm donor. So there was a female who had a penis who gave sperm and was put in the trans man, and that trans man had a non-binary partner and they had a kid. What? Are you like... Is this like ableist? Am I like... You okay? Fell off the back of the short bus or something? Like, what, what do you want?
You need me to come here and explain this to you? This isn't hard. You want me to like, you want to like Skype sometime? I can fill you in? Or for people understanding us. When this person is praised by LGBT organizations and deemed a speaker for lesbians, and people say that straight black men- da Yeah, damn, get fucked. Damn. Get owned. Sorry. Praised by LGBT organizations. This incredible trans woman is challenging the way we think about gender. Yeah, some fucking uh, women have beards. There are cis women who have beards. Did you know that? Have you ever seen, there's a religious sect in like the Middle East or something. I, I don't know the specifics, but you can't shave. And some of the, the ladies there are really hairy and some of the girls have beards and they're girls. They're cisgender women and they've got beards, you know? So yeah, some, some women have beards. And? and deemed a speaker for lesbians and people say that straight black men are the white men of black people and i know what, what they mean i no longer wish to be a part of this the L wait white straight black what straight black men are the white men of black people straight black men are the white men of black people I think I saw one tweet saying that, and then a bunch of people said it was dumb, and it was one tweet. I've lived my 26 year old life, and I've there's one tweet that ha one tweet said that, and then everyone made fun of it because it was stupid and incoherent. And that's it. Like that's the whole. That's the entire history of that phrase. That's the that's the entire fucking um, the um. The, uh, um, I mean, like, she could put, like, anything in here, you know? Do you think she had, like, she was trying, while well, trying to put this video together on the cutting room floor, she was trying to find, like, grainy video footage of, like, uh, like, trans people, like, slipping on banana peels or something? Like, anytime anything happens that she doesn't like, it means the left is crazy. Meanwhile, on the right, I mean, we have literal, like, I argue with Nazis all the time. Like, the right in this country is literally trying to institute, like, a white nationalist country, um, and, and, and disempower, you know, minorities, including, by the way, lesbians. Um, but, you know, like we heard there was like a tweet sometime. Uh, one kid put on eyelash extenders. So all leftists are pedophiles. You can't argue with these people. Somebody messaged me. Uh, I guess I can't say who, but somebody messaged me recently saying, Ariel Scarcella seems like she's really confused and she says that nobody on the left is willing to have a decent conversation with her. Maybe you could give it a shot? And ignoring the fact that I am nowhere near large enough to ever attempt such a thing, as fun as that would be, um, this is not a person who is interested in having conversations. This is a grifter, through and through. A conservative who only ever made progressive videos about lesbians because she was one and it benefited her, and now that she feels her own rights are more or less secure and she can find a space in her true home, the right, she moves over there. This is a bad faith argument. This person doesn't want conversation. I would have more luck arguing with fucking Dave Rubin and all the sincerity with which he believes the shit he says. You want to hear something cool, folks? I have myself argued many times that there are some fucking crazies in the left. Have you ever... Have you guys watched my channel before? The woke scolds. The rad libs. The tankies. I've done this before. You know what I did? I specifically outlined... I had some slip-ups. I did. I specifically outlined the things that I thought were detrimental to our movement... I criticized them, I disavowed them, I removed them from my community, and then I kept being a leftist. Because as it turns out, because I'm not a grifter, my principles remain coherent even if there are sometimes people who are associated with me who I disagree with. And I know she's capable of doing that, by the way. You know how I know that? Because Ario Scarcella over here, after her conversation with the YouTube audience, went ahead Experience. and had a chat with Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder, who doesn't believe in gay marriage, including for lesbians, said it's, uh, you know, not good. Steven Crowder, who has actively attacked, who recently got massively demonetized, because uh, he called Carlos Maza a fag and a sprite and a little uh, dainty pixie fairy. Um, Steven Crowder, who has said that he will continue to allow Owen Benjamin to host his show. Owen Benjamin, who is a neo-Nazi, 
Do we have do we have a clip of that? Can we find a Do we have a short clip of that? It's funny. All right, so two things I have to Oh, this is his channel. To, all right, so the between the goat. This is why I don't like to get into theology because there's a lot of reasons that you could say he was a bad guy. Apparently, the Times of Israel thinks I'm the bad guy because they can't take a joke, even though they can start a bunch of wars. I have no problem with the existence of Israel. I just don't want to fight in their wars anymore. You know, my sort of spine. But I'm curious if that somehow is made up news. It printed by you know who. That was that was brilliant. Nice. So that one day we could sit in comfort on our warm church pews without fear that our money is being printed by you know who. That was that was brilliant. I love that. So true. This isn't the clip that I was looking for. I mean, this clip actively shows him like admitting he believes in the Jewish question. But he's had videos uh, where he just openly praises Hitler, said that Hitler was um, cleaning the filth from Germany. So this person's on the right. And Scarcella over here has said that she's moving conservative, wearing MAGA hats, talking with Crowder and such. Something tells me that Ariel isn't going to uh, isn't going to make any videos where she denounces the lunatic right. Something tells me she's not going to be quite as uh, you know uh, specific when she targets and calls out the people uh, on the right who she maybe disagrees with. Grifter shit, my friend. People like this can't be talked to. As long as there are money sources that they can fucking extract uh, 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 from through their dishonesty, they will continue to exist. The real uh, uh, um, villains here are the people who think that this is a good prescient argument. A third of a million views from a channel typically dedicated to lesbian issues um, supporting her transition over to a social movement that is anti-progressive, including anti-lesbian. I mean, what are you going to do? And I know what they mean. I no longer wish to be a part of this. The LGBT cool. community has become a safe haven for the mentally unstable who are not seeking help. And who Wait, you just did this. This is a t three minute video. You're repeating content. This is the sit. You made this. You did. You said this thing and you already. You can't reuse clips in a three minute video, dude. Come on. Also aren't in any sense of the word queer. We've become this so. Wait, how? Wait, how? Who's, who's saying they're queer, but is not? Who? What, what? Just gonna throw that one out there? Obsessed with validating everybody. How did we not see this coming? This community has become so ridiculously intolerant while preaching the to So much for the tolerant left, my guys. Do you think, do you, this feels like a deep fake or like an AI wrote this. Like uh, like those subreddit simulators where they have a bot that analyzes how people type in a subreddit and then they make a copy of it using like algorithms. That's what this feels like. This feels like somebody who has swallowed every Tim Pool and Sargon video. And, but from like 2014 too, like this is really out of date. Of that for the first time in a decade, LGBT acceptance is down. Anyone Wait. love that for the first time in a decade, Comfortable interacting slipped. Only age report C decline. Ah, I see the logic. LGBT acceptance is slipping. Therefore, I'll make a video decrying the LGBT community and joining with fascists. If only other people had worked harder to prevent this decline in acceptance of the LGBT community. Decade, LGBT acceptance is down. Anyone who goes against the grain and thinks for themselves is immediately outcast. That's I mean, only if going against, for one, going against the grain and thinking for yourself equals repeating and regurgitating every single conservative uh, a stereotype uh, regurgitated for the past eight years. And for two, if you're being a transphobe, yeah, you get ejected from, the, from a trans-friendly community. What are you talking about? Obviously, no shit.
That's not a community, that's a hive mind cult. Once again, Damn. my name is Ariel. I'm a lesbian YouTuber. I've been making content on- Also, fun, yeah, you're right. Hunter Avalone actually recently started like putting out content he agrees with more and thinking for himself and he got fucking dogpiled by um, the conservative media by it. Like like he's gotten call outs from people like fucking um, roaming millennial and stuff because he, and, and Paul Joseph Watson and fucking, um, uh, who's that bitch? Uh, the gun girl. Um, poop girl. Poop. Poopy. Uh, uh, the poop. Pooper. Poop. Caitlin Bennett. The Caitlin Bennett. Yeah. Um, uh, all for like saying, hey guys, actually all the medical research disagrees with the conservative consensus. Actually, we're just factually wrong on this one. Maybe we should, maybe we should change our, you know, arguments a little bit. And everyone dogpiled him. Everyone. He's still getting a ton of shit for it on this platform for 10 years, and I no longer want to be associated with the ridiculously woke left. No you weren't. I don't think any, if your audience had ever associated you with people who are actually progressive, you wouldn't have this like to dislike ratio in this video. Oh, you guys understand where I'm coming from, and I know you'll stick around, so I'm not worried about any of this. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and let you know what I am currently feeling, and I will see you guys back here in a few days with a brand new video. Tons more content to come. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have no, I have no doubt that tons more content is to come. What uh? What is what does the content look like in the month uh, since she yeah. bravely left the left? Let's see. <laughs> Dude, she gets. This video has less than ten thousand views. It has a thirtieth of this. Is she being propped up by like? Oh, I see what this is. I see what this is. The only shit she's getting high views on are fucking clickbait sex videos. Porn star teaches lesbian to squirt on command. Vagina fisting explained it can be romantic. And the only videos she gets or uh, views she gets are anti-trans views and fucking porn star views. Here's a view on actual women's issues. Period cups. Here's why women are using them. Less than 10,000 views. Less than I get. Less than I get on any one of my videos. The only shit that she ever fucking gets views on are, are de facto porn clickbait videos for straight men and for anti-trans videos. Nobody ever gave a fuck about this bitch. Look at this. Look at all the big videos. Lesbian helps trans woman use her vagina. So this is both a sex and a trans oriented video. Uh, over 100K views, LGB drops the T. Lesbian responds to trans ideology. Lesbian couple, best foreplay sex toys. Lesbians orgasm by giving, women's orga uh, by giving women orgasms. I'm a lesbian, but not female. Non-binary people making no sense. That is my body ugly? Vagina, stretch marks, and fat. She puts vagina in the title of almost all of the videos that she gets over 100,000 views on. This person was never a fucking lesbian advocate. It's all just anti-trans and, and porn bait. Lesbian threesome sex, watch how it's done. Two thirds of a million views. What can I, what's the top? This is the most ridiculous fucking pandering that I have ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Lesbian sex, vagina slapping and spitting, exposing porn secrets, 19 million views. Trans woman shows lesbian her vagina, 10 million views. Lesbian couple to strap on challenge, 10 million views. Gay guy shows lesbian his penis, sex... 8.9 million. Straight girls explain. Penetration versus oral. I thought when I looked through this bitch's channel that she was actually some sort of like she'd advocate for lesbian issues. She doesn't give a fuck about lesbians. She just uses lesbians as clickbait material because she knows fucking straight boys will come in and watch because the fucking 14 year olds who watch her content don't know how to bypass their parents fucking filter yet. Holy shit. This person was never even tangent. Almost none of these videos are actually pro LGBT. They're usually just talking about lesbian sex, booby penis, vagina. Woman taste tests their own vaginas. This is so shameless. Watch how this woman has nipple orgasms. That's fucking incredible. Lesbian finger test. Scissoring versus trimming. I'm a squirter. This is, this is every one of them. 
This is a Coomer channel. This is a channel designed to bait in prepubescent boys and get them on the jerking off the lesbians to saying trans women aren't women pipeline. But I mean, you know. <laughs> Whoa. Don't take it from me, though. Take it from her audience. Why is it that actual, like, political lesbian issues are getting no views on her channel? Lesbian foster parents are having a baby, it's not easy. Less than 10,000 views. Period cups, here's why women are using them. Less than 10,000 views. So the next one, we, what's the next one we can find that's super low view? I don't see many, it's just all trans, it's just all trans and sex stuff, damn. The two times she actually tried. These these video titles are truly something else, though. These are truly phenomenal. I feel like I'm going to get demonetized just looking through these fucking thumbnails. I got dumped, not clickbait. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, folks. So, in essence, 40 IQ dipshit grifter who never cared about, uh, cared about LGBT issues has been a conservative for years and is only now realizing she can make more money from it by just openly, uh, you know, uh, uh, just just going for it, jumping on in and, um, and uh, 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 you know, just openly working with fascists. This thumbnail, I'm so glad that I pulled away. This thumbnail that I'm looking at literally has nudity on it. Is that allowed? It's like a draw, it's a woman getting eaten out. I can see her tits and her bush. Is that allowed? I don't, I, whatever, I'm not anti-sex. Whatever, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a coomer. Yeah, wait, can I just put tits on all my video thumbnails? Wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 hold, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me, uh, let me, uh, let me think about the, uh, man, these, these, the Coomer bait stuff is, uh, pretty effective. Hmm. No joke, though. No joke, though. That was so much worse than I expected, by the way. The the Ariel Scorsella thing. No joke, though. If I did a video that was like, if I like lost a bunch of weight. Okay, wait, wait, let's dream for a second, okay? Please dream with me. Okay, where I, lo I, I lose some weight. I'm already losing a little bit of weight. Yeah, I'm already, I'm fucking, uh, you know, you can, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting up there, okay? Okay. I'm getting up there. I lose a bunch of weight. I get, I get fucking yoked. Okay. And then I get like, uh, I get like, uh, 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 like 40 hot girls. I don't fucking know. We'll find, we'll, we'll get together like the grifting crew. I have a feeling my girlfriend wouldn't want to participate in this. So we're, we're going to have to find the grift crew. Okay. And I'll do like a video and it'll be, uh, Chad gives incel sex advice, um, pussy, pussy eating, squirt comp, um, fing, finger vibrate, you know, or something like that. And then it will just be, a 48 minute video where I talk at the camera with like eight, with like all the girls just sitting behind me on like, uh, on like foldable chairs, you know? And every once in a while I'll turn around and I'll, I'll be like, isn't that right? And then all of them will moan in unison. And I put them on the thumbnail. That's some fucking million view shit. That's some fucking million view shit, baby. That's gonna, that's gonna get me Crowder numbers, okay? We'll have that one. Uh, all my fucking political videos, 30, 40,000 views maybe. That one video, 8.6 million. Foo, just right up there. That's fucking amazing. That'd be fucking amazing. Absolutely, get fucking my sub count triples. All the subs are like, wait, I thought you did sex advice videos. And I'm like, I do, you gotta catch the streams, baby. I'm always talking about that shit. Have you, have you ever noticed that the economy leaves you feeling alienated? <laughs> I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, it's in the planning stages. Okay, it's in the planning. Copyright, trademark. You guys can't steal it. Let me do it. Don't steal it for yourself. Just let me do it. Anyone else? If anyone else is watching, if any other content creators are in chat, uh, Xander Hall, if fucking um, uh, 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 Lilith Lovett, if she was here, I, you can't. You can't do it. Hunter, I, you can't do it. Okay, this is me. I'm copywriting it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pee really quickly. Then let's do donations. After donations, uh, I think we're going to bring Adam on, right? Because that'll be around uh, the Adam time.
Why is Vosh having so much fun to stream lately? Because I love my job. One second. Ugh.